Okay, guys, welcome to Riverbird Farms. Riverbird map. This is a new map. Over there, in front of us, in that direction, more or less, well, like so, in that direction, we got another player. Her name is Fishka1988, and we're gonna do this map as a multiplayer. We both start with two million pounds and we buy it whatever we need to buy it to progress from that. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the map. So this is the map. Let me get slightly further away. So as you guys can see in that area that's where Fiishka is. I think she's gonna buy that farm there. Uh, we got a cell point here, animal cell point, you got animal tiller and a few points to sell your goods, you got the shop there you got the fuel station in there, you got a silo cell point there, you got another sort of cell point in there, we got the sheep farm in there, so that's one of the ones you can buy, we got the pig farm in here, and if we come over to this side we got the wool cell point and we got the sawmill we've got quite a few um woodlands around here we've got this one here then it creeps up about here we've got this small farm in here um don't think there's anything there the farm i'm sitting at the moment is a farm where you got a horse paddock uh, then you got a bit more wood around there woodlands and we come up to fish because well she ain't brought it yet but i think she's gonna buy that on her on this farm you got a cell point well a silo uh, you got the cows in there and the chicken um in there you got more woodland in there uh, on this map as i just gonna press uh l1 and you can see is an area that you can buy that gives you loads of stuff is free uh, it gives you all this in blue doesn't give you any farm but for you if you are starting from scratch we're not but if you do start from scratch that's a quite a good thing to do so you most of that blue area is grass and you can work mow the grass and sell the bales and make yourself a bit of money like, like so uh, I don't know what Fishki is doing but I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna s buy this farm here 112,000 okay that's our farm and I'm gonna start obviously I ain't gonna do any horses so I'm gonna I'm gonna sell uh, some of the stuff that we got in there so let's go back back to the farm as you can see this is the horse paddock in here we got a shed down there I think I'm gonna keep that for the time being we got our farmhouse here it's a bit in the middle of everything but let's see how it goes and we got this like uh, horse training ground thing so uh, I'm gonna start by selling this horse training area and the horse paddock so let's go so horse paddock gives us 40,000 pounds uh, and the riding field is 3,000 so go back to the farm so as you can see the stuff is gone now this is uh, our first episode uh, okay yeah. one thing I'm not doing now is I think that farmhouse in there as I said before is in the middle of everything so I think I own this bit of land here and I've got to put it in here 
so I'm gonna sell that farmhouse as well I need to see which one it is because uh, I wanna keep in the game theme so I wanna I wanna buy exactly the same one I think I mentioned already so this first episode is just setting up our farm and exactly what we're gonna do because um, we started with a substantial amount of money and uh, we go from there okay so let's as I say move the farmhouse how much is this farmhouse to buy actually that's not the one that's the one 35,000 35,000 and how much they're gonna how much they're gonna they wanna give oh, well. okay so let's get this oh I quite like that one but this where is this is the farmhouse okay so let's see where we're gonna put it oh yeah we can put it in there so let's turn it around a bit I don't own this land apparently okay so further back gonna guess I want a bit of the garden in front of it so what's this oh we've got a garage so I need to do a path in there okay cool so there it goes our farmhouse has been moved that shed okay for the time being we leave it as it is the only thing I'm gonna do is um, landscaping obviously I don't know if you guys are familiar with this game but you can change a few things so we got different brush sizes got sculpting if we do sculpting we can move and modify the ground like raise the ground lower the ground level it and so on it's a lot of stuff in there and if we go for painting we can change the color of the ground as you can see on the bottom right hand corner the different brush colors so let's I want gravel this is the gravel and we can make passageway we're gonna do a passageway in here like so okay so that will be like an entrance to our farm and the garage here I don't own this land okay so one of the things as it says I don't own that land one thing we can do is because because this we can go and get that is free the reason I'm doing this I'm not doing any grass I'm doing that because I want to do a bit of painting uh, you can do painting and landscaping on that and sell it but if you do get placeables onto an area you cannot sell that area until you sell all the placeables okay so that's our entrance entrance for the garage this is our entrance to the house so now I don't need that area anymore so we go back here L1 we press L1 and press R1 then triangle and we sell the area okay so that's not ours let's have a look at our, our farmhouse I'm spending quite a bit of money on this but I do like to make my farm look nice so now I'm going to get myself different bits and pieces like decoration style stuff for the farm so we're gonna start with some lights 
Uh, which lights should I get? This one? Uh, nah, this one is too small. That one? Eh, it seems a bit better. Yeah, let's put one here. One in here. Okay, look at that. Okay, so we've got two lights in there. Did you hear a dog barking in there? We will have a, a dog in there in a minute. So we've got all this stuff. Uh, decorations. So, decorations, what should we get? Got loads of stuff in there. Okay, when did the bin? Can we place the bin in here? Yeah, so that's our rubbish bin. You don't need sheds. Now, we need a dog. I do love dogs. There we go. So, we've got a dog house. Where are we going to put it? Should we put him in the front of the house like so? Well, we cannot be put in there. Ah, uh, okay. So, we're going to put the dog in here. There we goes. That is... There is our dog. Alright, we need to give him a name. Well, I don't know what name we're going to give him. So let's give him some food. <coughs> I tell you what, I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him Fishka. I'm going to call my dog Fishka. Okay, that's it. So we got all of these. Now, Let's have a look at fields. So we've got field number 27 right next to us. What we got here? We got soya beans. That's quite a good crop. So, and this field is right by the house. Uh, don't know what to do in here. So, this. Okay, so this is quite a big field actually. And what's on field number 26? Let's have a look at 26. Okay, so what we got on 26? Okay, 26 is grass. So that's a good field for income. If you want to do grass, you can do soilage and stuff like that. Uh, but back to our farm. Let's have a look. So we got just one small shed in there. Something I do like to do is so we got uh, this grass field in here. We've got that soya bean in there. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy field number 27. Then we rent an earth, uh, an harvester. And we pick up the the soya beans. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take. We're gonna buy this field. So let's go. L1. All done. So it's got corn in there. Sugar beet. Oats. Oh, what's that? Is another can that's a canola field. That's a soybean field. Oh, um, decisions now. That's a big field. Now, field 27. Okay, 224,000. Okay, that's ours now. So. So that's done. Let's plant growth. Normal, real time, let's put it times five. So we can get 
our crop growing. Well, that's been done. Well, that's been done. Let's get some sheds in here. So, sheds. Okay, so that tree in there is in our way so get this shed in here no no get this one in here can we get another one in there no ah collides in an object Decisions. Okay, one shed for now. Let's have a look at that shed. I tell you one thing. I think I'm gonna rent a machine that I used before. And I'm gonna take a few trees out of here. Yeah, okay, so machine I'm talking about is in forestry. And we go to the end, and it's a Trex 600 Lizard. So this is a, a, a mobile munching machine. This will cut everything. So we're going to lizard. And we're gonna drive it to our farm okay there it is this is the lizard trex 600 this machine will munch through everything that is on the forest ground so let's drive it back so as we get out of here we've got traffic oh i'm smashing into the the wall already so guys uh, I'll see you in a second uh, we're gonna do a time-lapse all the way to until we get to the farm see you guys in a minute Let's see, we've got a couple of trees that I want to get rid of. We're going to start with that one right in front of us, if he allows me to. Okay, there comes another tree. Can we do it? Yeah, allows us to do it. So. so the good thing about this machine is you don't have to take any... Obviously, you don't get any money from these trees. Uh, a lot of people say, no, oh, you must be silly doing that, blah, blah, blah. What I'm doing is I'm just setting up my farm 
uh, I will be planting trees. I'll be doing some logging. I may buy one of those fields that got uh, forest on. But that is further into the game. Uh, something I forgot to mention to you guys at the beginning is this is going to be a series is like a competitive multiplayer with Fishka. What we're going to do is we're going to do a few episodes like 15, 20, 30 episodes I'm not sure yet we're just going to carry on going uh, and at the end we will sell all the machines, all the sheds, everything we own and we see which one end up with the most money so that's all the trees I want to get rid of uh, we turn the machine off leave it here for now and let's see if we can place a few more sheds collides with an object okay so we've got two sheds in there two of these nice small sheds could put another one there if you wanted to that will give us loads of stuff loads of area but if I put this one here would I be able to put a big one after that okay let's put it down we can always sell it so the big one I want is this one here and I want to use this we don't have them at the moment terrain cannot be deformed we don't have big machines at the moment like long combine harvesters and lorry trailers and stuff like that so we don't have that at the moment we will hopefully so this is that shed is what we're gonna need it for so again I'm gonna do some landscaping to connect all the sheds I wanna do some concrete in there but I want exactly the same one yes that's the one I want the same one as the sheds floor and do beef at the front as well uh, I need to put lights for the sheds I don't want this to be perfect we're just gonna go I better go sideways probably better for me me and my bad eyesight I told you I'll do mess about okay so whoop. oh got a bit of a Oh, got an opportunity to do a bit of ground editing and show you guys how that works. So, ground editing, we going into gonna get out of here. Go into options menu and we go to general settings, helper window on, so we can show you exactly what we're doing. So, we go back to start landscaping. And now at the moment we are on the painting brush so that's the bit that makes you paint everything and all that stuff so now we're gonna go to sculpting and you can see on the left hand side you got a window there it gives you everything what every single button will do so what I want to do is if it allows me to it doesn't uh, nice so we're gonna have that bump as we get into our thing but I think is a bit of a let's get the brush size bigger okay so that's the brush strength so let's see if we can find let's you can see different deformation on a on a thing. No. Ah, not on our fields. Okay. Well, at the moment, ain't much. Whoa. Okay. So <laughs> I just by mistake I raised the ground. So what we're gonna do is lower the ground so we can use the square, and he lowers it straight back to where we need it if you want to flatten it yeah we got 
let's try R1 R1 so the ground is flat and nothing happening to, s to smooth the ground that's the brush I like to use the most yeah ace that one so look, he even paints it as he goes, he collects all the grass from the floor. So if you don't want to change the texture of your ground. Yeah, so that's good. Right, let's get out of here. So we got the sheds, we got everything. A few more things that I want to get. I want to get a workshop. A small placeable, only it's about 300 or 500 pounds where is it is in here somewhere oh, I know he's here so we got that workshop vehicle workshop 24,000 pounds we got this trolley tool trolley so it's really really small so we're gonna put it in here out of the way so in there we can repair our vehicles did he raise the ground no, it's done quite good. Okay, so in here, we go in there, press that, place place the vehicle within the boundaries. Then we come off the options, so you go option to sell it, customize your vehicle, and repair your vehicle. I'm going to demonstrate with this leased vehicle. Bear in mind, you do are able to do it with the leased vehicles as well. You can customize, I'm not sure you can customize them. But you can repair them and s send them back. So, back in there, as we can see, come out of it, go to the point, press that. So, repair the vehicle is repaired. Oh, I come out. Sorry. So, we can customize it. No, we cannot customize the vehicle, but we can return it. Oh, no, we cannot return it either. Oh, okay. I thought we could return it. Let's try it again. No, I cannot return it. But we can return it like that. So we go to our garage. As you can see right at the bottom, list items. That's what we got. And return. Yes. Okay. It doesn't cost us anything to return it. That's it. The vehicle is gone. Okay. So as you guys can see we got our three small sheds in there we've got our big shed in there and that tiny shed that we started at the beginning that we don't need anymore so as we don't need it we're gonna sell it as well it's 2500 so that should give us enough money to buy one light I think they're 2,000 pounds of floodlights. Okay, so we're gonna get floodlights around here so we can. Unfortunately, these sheds don't have any lighting. Okay, put that one in there. That one in there. That one in there. And I'm gonna put this one here. I don't need to put one in this corner because these two we just put down will give us enough light. So we're gonna put one in between these two sheds, another one in between these two, so it should give us a bit of uh, and another one here. Seriously, I don't like this l jump onto the things, but it ain't much we can do. <coughs> right, another thing I want to do is silos I'm not going to be using many silos not at the moment uh, it's something that I used on my save games for grass right grass you can bale it and wrap it and do soilage if you place one of these BGAs down as I'm about to do I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it Uh, gonna place it like so uh, so we got 
the BGA. The reason I put him in such a corner, pardon me, and out of the way is uh, we can do silo. So we got bunker silo double large, bunker silo medium double, bunker silo small double, and then we got the singles large, small, and medium. So we can place them in here. I'd like to place them in front of the BGA because I'm a bit lazy when it comes to things and I like to use conveyor belts. So I use the conveyor belts to transfer whatever so, uh, silage, I, silage I put on the, on, the, on the silos. So you can make silage on PlayStation or on the consoles you can make silage from grass and from shaft. Shaft, you can get shaft from uh, maize from uh, uh, corn. Okay, uh, on computer you can make silage from multiple things, but today we are playing on console. So let's see if we can place a large bunker silo, double bunker silo in there, large one. We can do that later on the day on, on, on the game. So we're gonna leave it as it is just that because what my game plan is to we going to we got field number 27 already what I want to do is with that field 27 uh, I want to buy field 34 25 and 34 and as soon as soon as I buy all of those fields all four fields I want to put corn on all of them and then I'll buy the large double bunker silo and uh, obviously I ain't gonna harvest the corn all in one go I'll show you how to do it yeah and then I will do the whole harvest uh, offline so you guys I won't bore you with picking up all that corn so for this area here at the moment we do have an item that is needed on your farms uh, when you are using workers uh, or helpers. Uh, uh, the tractors are all equipped with GPS, most of them. Oh, by the way, this is another vehicle workshop that you can put on your farm. Uh, so we're going to, I think it's right at the end of this miscellaneous. There we go, so we're gonna get there. So right, so you got four different kinds of doing it. So you got a small RTK station, RTK station, and then you got that's another vehicle workshop. Uh, actually that vehicle workshop comes as standard on this map on Fishka's farm. So you got a building with RTK base station and shed with RTK base station. Obviously they are a bit more expensive. Uh, but apparently I tried them and believe it or not the shed makes the precision more uh, it's a better pre it's more precision on it when the tractors go around when the helpers go around the fields so that's what I'm gonna get for my farm uh, where's the front of it I need to find the front of it so we I don't own that field no cannot be deformed in there so we're going to put it here where the old shed was. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to push it back as much as I can to put it in line with the sheds. Yep, that's it. And we got our precision shed. No, no, this you can get in. So is another things that I'm going to buy to help me on my fields. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you guys all of this because at the moment we're waiting for our field of soybeans to to germinate to be ready for us to harvest so inside this shed I'm gonna put I'll show you so we are gonna get later on a soil sampling machine this right here somewhere at the end I think there it is so the scout cost you 17 thousand pounds with this machine you can go around your fields 
you unfold it uh, is cups in there as you can see the small white cups inside and you take soil samples uh, at the, after you soil sample the whole field you send the samples away and it gives you the soil configuration so let's get out of here for now and while we are on soil, configura soil configuration and soil samples we go into our help go options and help all the way to the bottom for those who never played the game or never used the soil sampling so here it goes so we got the RTK stations as you can see it explains as long as long as one of these new builds is placed on the map the accuracy of the helper is increased and they won't and they work up to 11% faster than before so that is a thing straight away I know I spent thirty thousand pounds thirty seven thousand pounds I'm not sure how much I spend on that but for each helper that works I'm getting eleven percent faster work done so instead of imagine if paying a thousand pounds to do a field I'm only gonna I'm gonna pay less eleven percent don't ask me how much that is because I ain't got a clue how much that is so it economy analysis so you got you can anal uh, see uh, what your field looks like Hield map tells you the hill on on uh, yield on your map uh, how, uh, how good or how bad it is nitrogen value obviously you got you spread manure you spread you spread uh, liquid fertilizer or digestate uh, you can use solid fertilizer or you can use liquid fertilizer to improve it so pH value pH value is done with um, lime so depending on the, so on the soil s soil types uh, is you, you spread lime uh, so as you can see pH value next to the soil map you can find a pH value map this indicates the activity of or basically of city of the soil the pH value should always be in the optimal target range depending on type of soil so loomish sand the types of soil so we got loomy sand sandy loom loom and silly clay and then in front of it you got the percentage of uh, lime that you need soil sampling as I explained to you you go around hitch the soil sample machine and then you collect soil soil types as again shows you as you can see on uh, on a photo in there the the different colors of the the um, the soils so general is explain how all this works so that is the soil sampling explained to you guys and the shed so this shed i'm going to use it to going to use it to store uh, probably a gator or another kind of small machine that can carry the, the soil sampling machine okay so let's close that door we got no machines at all at the moment uh, what I can do is because I want to be doing grass uh, what I'll do is well let's go and have a look at the machines for grass I know exactly what I need or what I want uh, the money I got I could buy a massive harvester uh, so let's have a look uh, so mowers mowers or grass machines or cutting grass cutting machines the one I'm gonna buy as soon as I can will be this one because it's nine nine point is nearly 10 meters wide uh, is fast 15 miles per hour while he's working and it gives us the opportunity to you can have spread or swarf so swarf is when the grass stays all into one pile and then you just go pick it up with a baler or a forage wagon or spread spread is if you want to do hay so turn grass into hay you use the the machine you leave it spread then you use the tethers tethers you just go around spinning all the grass around and leave it for, to get dried and then you will bale it after that but 
what I need first is a combine harvester. I do have a favorite machine. Obviously, I'm not. I don't play just with John Deere, but I do like John Deere's. I grew up on a farm. The machines they had on the farms, we had on the farm, was just brilliant machines. Not John Deere's. Uh, they had class. They had cases, tractors. They had uh, actually they had the Lamborghini tractor in there. They had. Um, uh, they had John Deere's tractors in there, the combine was a class, they had David Brown, I don't know if you guys know that manufacturer, uh, we had Dilts, Dilts tractors, they're really really good, but I do love the John Deere. So, what we're going to do is, John Deere, 780, S, uh, S780, S790 series. There's loads of configurations on this one and we're going to start with the first one, the grain tank extension. So we can go from 1411, uh, 14,100 uh, liters to next one is exactly the same actually. They all 14, 14, 14. Then you go up to 17.4 and 17.6 then back down to 17.4 for some reason 19.4 and my favorite 22.905 so when I use this machine I always go for the biggest grain tank extension wheel brand you got Michelin and Mitis so we're gonna stick with Michelin I want double wheels at the front so we come down here double wheels no I don't want tracks I don't like to see a combine with tracks I like those big white double wheels yeah a nice wheels at the back what is an option in here that we're gonna get to that so shop tail board standard or advanced cast doesn't give you much but I do like that one Rear hitch, uh, you got standard or no? So we're gonna go standard so we can tow our header pipe because we're gonna use a, um, a 45 foot header. We need to extend the pipe, so we're gonna seven uh, 26 foot uh, foldable pipe. Okay, so now engine set up, you can leave it as. We can add, uh, pocket up to 625 brake horsepower. That will sp you spend 95,000, or you can bring it down to 547, and it will cost you uh, 52,000. Is no standard option. You will gotta choose the 52,000 or 93, uh, 95. So rear axis. This is what I wanted to get to. As you guys, I don't know if you guys can see. So when we do that we get a wider rear axis so the axle at the back is a bit wider it gives you more stability and um, trust me guys it does give you more stability uh, and some of the terrains on this map as I seen when I was exploring the map a couple of days ago uh, is uh, got a few inclines on it so we're gonna go for this s79 uh, 780 or s and s790 so we got that so that's our new toy let's jump onto it so fast travel to our combine look at that there is our toy so we got a s719 john deere it's quite a good machine i used this many times before and all my save games all my videos i used the x790 s790 or the x9 is a new x9 John Deere on the market on the uh, mod hub and is a brilliant machine. So let's go and find ourselves a header. Uh, obviously, as you guys know already, that I know exactly what I'm going to buy, so it's no, no point of going, hey, I found this header, blah blah blah. No, I'm going for what I know, what I used, 
and one I know that is good to use. So you got the 645 FD for the S90 is a 13.7 meter. A, I think is a 45 foot. But this one you will need a header trailer for it. Okay, so you need to buy a header trailer. So you're spending. So it's 89,000. Yeah, and for a bit more, 89,000. It's completely as standard as the other one. This one comes already with the trailer. Okay, I uh, just want to see a difference. No, there's no difference. I thought it was different in speed, but it's not. So what we're going to buy is this main color, obviously John Deere. There it goes. Rim color. Uh, oh, I want a yellow uh, John Deere yellow. John Deere. Okay. So design color. We're gonna go with John Deere as well. And the decals. The decal is this thing here in the middle. As you can see, I'll change it. Look, you got massive Ferguson uh, class, New Orleans case, John Deere, Fent, and nothing. So we're gonna go with John Deere because we got a John Deere combine. So eighty-nine thousand nine hundred and fifty. I'm, I'm gonna buy this, and I'm gonna show you something. Remember this, 89,950. So I paid 950 pounds for the paint. Okay? The paint on that. Now, remember this one? It's 89,000. So we're going to get out of here and going to go on to header trailers. There we goes. The header trailer for that comb, for that header, we need it, we'll need to buy something like this so straight away is eight thousand pounds so 89 we end up paying ninety seven thousand pounds if we brought the other header as you guys can see there's the header there's the hitch that goes into the back of uh, the combine and look at that we don't need an header trailer yeah see so things like that uh, I watched a lot of videos before I start playing this game uh, on when I start playing on f FS 15 farming simulator 15 then I went over to 17 and now 18 and I cannot wait for FS 20 to come out so we're gonna take our combine over to our farm So we're going to take this shortcut here, will be no traffic. We're going to turn left here and straight up to where we need to go. Look at this square here where they got uh, nice flowers. What is it saying here? Oh, it's upside down. Riverbird. Oh, that's a nice square in there. Look at that, this is the town, it's quite a nice town. Oh, what's this? What's that, Lidl? No, Ledley. <laughs> I thought it was a Lidl. Okay guys, so for this episode we're going to go over to the farm, take our combine to the farm, and we will call it a day, so unless... Nope, let's go, so we get back to the farm. Oh, a bit bumpy in there. So let's go. So, do you guys remember that big long shed that I brought? That's for this machine. <coughs> so, we're going to buy a tractor. On the next episode, we'll buy a, a, a tractor, a plow, a sewing machine. And a lorry. We're going to need a lorry to move our grain about. I'm going to buy a lorry because I will need a lorry further on the game. When we do the soilage. I think I'm going to have to ask... 
I think Fayishka has got brought that bit of uh, where all the grass goes. I think she's doing grass at the moment. I'm going to ask her to come over and cut that tree for us soon. Okay, guys, so we're back in to... We're back in a... Uh, in our farm, not much got done. So we're gonna cut it a day. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next episode.